What's up, Non-Fungible fam? It's the Non-Fungible 5 here. My name is Musa, and today I'm joined by my co-host Hassan and uh, Isa. He's actually here with his first video with us. And today we're going to be talking about um, three different projects. Please be sure to give our Twitter a follow. Um, run up the likes on our post. Turn on post notifications. If you follow us on here, you'll always be updated. Um, we recently just had a Twitter spaces. We're posting threads on here. And whenever we're posting videos, you'll always get updated on our Twitter. Also, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube. We're really close to 100 subscribers. We're going to be having a 0.1 ETH giveaway once we hit 100 subscribers. So please be sure to subscribe so we can have that giveaway running really soon. Again, so we're going to be at uh, 100 subscribers. We are planning to improve the quality of our videos and the frequency of our videos. So you guys can be looking forward to more videos and better videos. So again, when we get to that 100 subscribers, which we should be by the time this video actually comes out, that video, that giveaway should be underway. So tell your guys friends and, you know, let's try to get as many people on the channel as possible so you can get this community underway. And we're also going to be having a, um, a Discord server, actually, so we can actually engage with our community in like a chat room, you know, stage setting more than like the actual comment section. So, yeah. Yeah, so the first project we're going to talk about is Tiger Bobs. Uh, it's basically just a pixelated art project of tiger heads. Um, the supply is a thousand, and they're hand drawn by the artist Gossamer Rosin. She hand draws and hand selects all of them, and they also have over a thousand traits. So, a little history on the art uh, it was one of her first uh, tattoo designs from 2019, and uh, the tiger head has now also been iterated as tattoos, illustrations, and sculptures. Basically, the point of the project is to solidify her brand, the Tiger Bob Head. So the art features attributes, colors, and themes um, from like a bunch of her different bodies of works. A little history on her previous experience in the NFT space. She used to create a lot of one-of-ones, which basically generated an intimate circle of a bunch of collectors and supporters. Just a future goal of hers is to just kind of staple it as a brand into clothing and fashion. And that's pretty much it as far as the art and general basis of the project goes. I'd also like to add, um, there was mention in the roadmap of uh, integration for metaverse and gaming as well, because the actual artist Gossamer has a deep interest for gaming and has been a gamer all their life. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail on the actual artist itself. So the artist is Gossamer Rosin. So Gossamer Rosin is a non-binary femme, trans, Filipino, Afro-American artist and tattooer, and has been doing art since 2008. And her their art is actually inspired by East Asian contemporary art, folklore, mythology, and textiles from around the world. So in addition to that, so you can see she's actually done many actual different forms of art. She also worked on projects like Deadfellas and also was the art director of Woody's. Galsamer also has worked with companies like Squarespace, Dr. Martens, and Patagonia. So it's awesome to see that... Um, they, they've already worked with Patagonia in the past, which is actually a clothing brand as well. So when one of their goals is to penetrate the clothing and fashion industry, it's awesome to see that they've already established um, connections in that industry. Um, They're also a member of the Selected Artists of Proof Collective by Kevin Rose and a member of UltraDAO. So considering how well Moonbirds and Proof Collective has done recently, it's 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 pretty safe to assume that proof collective artists are very established as an artist and very established in the nft space and considering how well that project did again like i said this project will likely do well too gossamer's fine art background is heavy in narrative illustrations and sculptures creating work in mostly traditional media and it, it's all about advocacy for diversity and inclusion sorry that I just wanted to mention that like Gossamer Rosen was the lead artist of Woody's and this collection actually did get a lot of uh, new people into the NFT space back in September. And uh, back at that time, like this project was really like pumped up in floor price. It was about one ETH above. And ever since then, it's kind of been like consolidating. It's, it hasn't really gone to zero. So this project has been a solid project for a really long time, which is just a really good thing to see in a artist and a founder seeing that they've had past experience in successful projects.
also i know a lot of the team in addition to gossamer is also um where team members like the community manager from woody's is a part of the team here for tiger bob so it's been a team that's been able to execute early on in the space and we're one of the earlier adopters of nfts so it's always awesome to see kind of the ogs making moves in the space so as you guys can see on gossamer's twitter it has a pretty large following and a lot of people in the nft space are following the page at 14.2k followers we can also take a look at some of gossamer's other collections with the Maramu gold dust you can see that has a floor of 3.9 um, let's take a look at the Atkin gold weights. That's 4.89. And also keep in mind that if you actually get one of these, you get access to the allow list for Tiger Bobs. So just keep that in mind. And then we can also take a look at the Holy Grails by the Proof Collective. So this is a proof collection um, project, which is a collection of 20 of the biggest digital artists in the space, some of them including uh, Larva Labs, Tyler Hobbs, Gary Vaynerchuk, and uh, Gossamer as well. So you can see Gossamer's piece. This also allows access to the allow list and is now sitting at a floor of nine Ethereum. So Gossamer has clearly had many successful um, pieces of art, both inside and outside the NFT space. And here at that channel, that's kind of what we like to see when we see that bridge we know it's a recipe for success success and that bridge is being built here it's it's the golden bridge golden gate bridge here clearly this is a good project and then you guys can take a look at their gallery as well to get an idea of what kind of art you can see the dead fellas collab piece at the top left so that one looks really cool in my opinion it's one of my favorite pieces um scroll down we can also see the gi toads collab i believe they had as well that's another collab they had so you can see that the artist has collabed with many other um successful projects and ecosystems including like dead fellas and the proof collective and gi toads as well as doing many different forms of art in real life as well whether it be tattoos or sculptures or actual textiles of some sort so overall, with the really bullish sentiment in the market right now, with like Macy at like 40 ETH and Moonbirds at 36 and Basie at like 140 ETH, I feel like a lot of the liquidity could trickle down to um, other projects that, you know, kind of have a similar vibe. So Tiger Bobs and the artist being a proof collective artist and the art just looking so good and the following honestly just blowing up in the recent, in the past couple of days from like, it was only what like 10 or 20,000 the other day and now it's at 82,000. So I know we're not the earliest, but we wanted to bring this to your attention in case you guys haven't um haven't actually seen it yet and if you guys haven't already, I know the we're going to have this video out on the 25th, it's the 24th today. Um the 27th the allow list um uh sign up actually closed for the premint. So you guys should definitely try to sign up for that. You just need a valid Twitter account, Discord, and at least 0.25 ETH in your account. Or you guys can always try to pick up uh, one of the NFTs I showed you guys and try to get that for the allow list. But again, don't just buy the NFT for the allow list. Actually, you know, do your research, see if you like the art and the artist and support what the artist and the vision behind the actual project itself. That's kind of why we're really bullish on this project. It's, it's a le real legit artist who's been involved in some real legit projects in the past. You guys should definitely get involved. So the next project we're going to be talking about is Deskheads. There isn't really much information on this project yet and not too much hype yet. So it is pretty early, but all it really says is we're leading to the nine to five revelation. And that does kind of fall into their same kind of style of art because they have like this desk head style of art kind of relates to the NFT space as people are really on their computers a lot degening all the time so i really like the style of art it really falls into like the niche of the nft space and the art is just really clean in my opinion the animation is really nice it has lots of detail i really like how they have background pieces as well as the characters in the middle and i it looks like from the looks of it so far it looks like the collection is going to be fully animated from the pieces that they have posted so far so yeah this is just something i would keep an eye out for try to get into the discord 
try to um, get the whitelist for this project because we really haven't seen this style of art yet in this space. Yeah, for for just just another thing to add, like if you look at a collection like the uh, Unemployables, for example, that's a project that really resonates with the NFT space as like a lot of people in this space are kind of really against like employment and working for somebody and really are about financial freedom and making money on your own and stuff like that. So Dusk Heads is another one of those projects like Musa mentioned that really kind of hits home for the NFT space. Cause like, look at me right now, I'm at my desk talking about NFTs, like the, the couple hundred of thousands of other people who are in the space as well. Just that kind of comparison to give you guys an idea of like why we think specifically this project could do successful other than the fact that the art, itself looks really cool and that's thus far it's a fully animated collection we don't know much so far though about the actual artist or the team or background itself or what the actual vision or roadmap is at this moment though but it's still extremely early yeah i'd also like to mention that the art does somewhat look similar to mind blown universe and that project is really blown up in followers if you're on nft twitter you've probably seen that project pop up all the time and this project here kind of gives me the same vibes so yeah, just keep an eye out for this one. So moving on to the next project, this project is called Lo-Fi Lofts. It's a collection of 5,555 hand-drawn lofts. There isn't too much information on this project yet either. And this project is really, really early as well, as you can see. Um, all we really know about this project is that they're going to be kind of like a mix of these houses with a bunch of cool things like castles and burgers and things like that. So it might resonate with like a land-based project we're not too sure yet there isn't really any information yet but the art does look really cool the houses do look really detailed and the art style is just really cool in my opinion i really love how these like the cartoon style of the houses but uh yeah this is another one just to keep an eye out for it's really early so follow them keep the post notifications on yeah like when, when you see projects like that uh other lo-fi project that's gained a lot of traction recently i can see this gaining a lot of traction too and then in addition to that, it's like a lot of land projects in general just tend to kind of steer like north of one ETH. So like I'm not saying this is going to be that in any way, shape or form, because I don't know anything about the utility at this point. But just based on the art looking really unique and the fact that it is looking to be a land project, I feel like if they're able to integrate a good utility or actually have like a really stacked team behind this once, you know, more information is out. Um, this could be one that starts to like really blow up in like the next, let's say a month or so. Okay. So yeah. So then the last thing I want to mention in this video is I kind of just want to reflect on our last video. Um, we talked about chimpers and I, like I said, we're really big fans of chimpers here. So as you guys can see the T-Back collection, I actually called this went in at 0.7 ETH and, um, it ran up to 1.5 when we actually dropped the video and now it's at 3.3 3.23 and the rest of the actual artworks and animated productions are all sitting at a minimum of 7 eth so you guys can see like there's there's a lot of value in this community and they are dropping in early may so i would keep an eye out for chimpers and i would keep an eye out for my pet hooligan guys because those two projects are doing a lot of stuff next month so you guys definitely want to keep your eyes on that and then the last thing before we you know, end off for today is, again, follow us on Twitter. Put those post notifications on. Trust me, like, I know we're small now, but, like, trust me, I'm telling you guys, it'll be worth it in, like, three months, four months down the line when we pumped out, like, 100 videos of really good content and we've grown to a pretty decent size. I promise you we will remember our early supporters. So, yeah, again, give us a follow on Twitter. Subscribe to our channel. Like, comment. Um, give us any feedback. So we're always trying to improve our actual information we're providing and the entertainment we're providing. And yeah, that giveaway is going to start soon once we hit that 100 subscribers. So should be should be honestly there by the time this video comes out. Thank you guys again. We're only up from here. It's the non-fungible fam. Peace.